update on the sand rail so I already have all the parts ready to be installed this one goes on the fuel pump and this one's a billet polished billet part even though these threads or these brass fittings are MPT threads MPT meaning that they're conical so when you put them in they're smaller and as you keep tightening it um, the thread gets a little bit thicker and thicker and thicker so even though it's an MPT thread I still chose to um, to put a little bit of Teflon towards the end this one is where the the oil filter goes so one of them has the arrows going in and out this one's going out this the oil is going in on this one on this one is going in this one is going out so we already have this ready to go what we need to do is i need to finish welding up some parts i have the oil cooler ready to go i already have it all buttoned up these bottom parts are like these like little rubber grommets so when it's shaking all over the place the um, it just basically just has a little bit of support for the fan so the fans not wobbling all over the place and this one we finally decided that we're gonna go with an install right here towards the middle that way it's like a little bit more aesthetically pleasing to whoever buys it and I need to finish welding up this bracket but I need to cut it I need to cut this part right here right here because if I don't cut it I won't be able to fit it up all the way up the roof I need to finish the little spacers that I'm gonna put on there I don't know if um, if I have some scrap metal laying around somewhere make those spacers uh, fix this bend put the spacer make the hole reinstall the light that should be good to go the battery box is also done it's completed and as you can see right I thought the other one was small this one's actually a, I think it's smaller than the other one than the original battery box but this is an Odyssey battery it's designed for this type of applications and it also has this piece of aluminum to hold it down this bracket to hold it down and I had ordered that color and specific this anodized red finish in the front we my welder he basically welded these correctly at a level so both of these are leveled and once I have everything painted on it again then we'll adjust all the lights on it you can see the front ones we're kind of doing some work on it to repair the welds my my cousin he bought a new welder and he was trying out different settings on it but um we're just cleaning it up just so it looks a little bit more presentable it has these mirrors that i bought for it so the only issue is that these brackets for this mirror are huge i don't know if it's for a standard application for like um ut AT, uh, utv vehicles um or whatever those uh, side by sides i don't know if these are all universal size but this sand rail obviously the tubing i don't know what size it is i'm not sure if it's an inch but um i'm gonna have to weld these in position and as you guys can see it looks pretty awesome it's gonna have its little mirrors it's got its rear view mirror so it's coming along it's just things here and there my foot's been hurting a lot but I don't give up. I haven't actually taken my medication today. Um, the swelling's still a little bit high. I still have a lot of swelling on it, but other than that, tomorrow I should have an updated video. Hopefully with a lot of stuff more, uh, more completed. These rear brackets too are gonna get redone. You can see the finish on them is kind of weird, but um, yeah it's coming along it just takes time and obviously money <laughs> but i want it looking nice so once i have the oil cooler buttoned up where it's supposed to go i'm gonna buy the oil lines so i haven't bought any because i don't know how long they're gonna be and i want to buy them the right size so one of them is gonna be coming out from the this is where that billet cap is gonna go right here 
and one of the lines is gonna go out from here into the oil so we still haven't decided where we're gonna put that little oil cap and we gotta put a little we gotta weld up a little thing so i might put the oil i don't know where i'm gonna put it i don't know if here or i might run the the wire coming out this this way the um, the oil line coming out this way to a filter right here that way it's pre it's um i guess you could say pre-filtered oil or filtered oil that's gonna go into this oil cooler and um that way it comes out and it goes back into the block so i still have to figure all that out i have to take off this bracket here because this old system how it had it it's no longer the cables like completely busted on it we're not gonna go with that i also have to put some teflon on this um fuel pump the electric fuel pump as you can see it's um i have put some um uh, some additive so the fuel doesn't go bad on it uh some stable it's called stable so it doesn't go bad on it but it doesn't have any more fuel because i gotta change out uh grommet on the fuel cap you can see how the fuel cap the grommet's kind of like all eaten up so i gotta change that out for one that actually fits but you can't just put whatever rubber on here because it's special rubber or the hoses they're special hoses to hold fuel even for example for the humvee right so the humvee i want to install uh it's um what's that fuel the biodiesel that you could basically run cooking oil well you technically you can run it on this but you can't you can and you can if you run it like this without changing the the fuel lines to a specific material it's gonna happen what's called sweating and then it starts sweating more and more they basically swell up and then with time they deteriorate because it's organic it's organic um how can you say organic lubrication organic lubrication damages that's why they created synthetic lubricants so it doesn't damage the the seals and filters and stuff like that so there's a lot of stuff when it comes to application of vehicles so once i do change out the engine on it then i am going to install um the biodiesel kit but everything one step at a time i'm kind of jumping back and forth in between videos right now only because the track hog tires kind of messed up on that i had to order suspension parts for it um so it kind of set me back as far as videos on the humvee i already have this part welded up right here right here in the middle the oil cooler is gonna sit and i give it the first coat of paint the battery box is installed and i have the little bracket that i ordered for it on ebay this is a aluminum anodized with um, some stainless steel bolts i drilled it and i tapped it like i did in one of my videos uh, when i installed the license plate of the humvee so this has the thread already you don't have to put any more bolts so the the future owner won't have to worry about that battery's right there in the front we re-welded these brackets correctly and then we also welded up these little ears so the mirrors can go right there so it'll look something like that In the front gave it a little coat of paint freshened up that that paint so tomorrow I'll install the oil cooler where it goes it's gonna go right here you can see it's right there it's gonna go right here and then i'm also gonna weld the little bracket so we can install this the new uh, oil filter position it's gonna go right here and then the lines that way everything is that way nothing is hanging down here or anything like that but other than that once i start the install to this i'll guide you guys exactly how this goes because I've tried to find like many things right I've tried to find videos on how to install certain things for example this kit this empty kit and there's nothing out there 
and I'm um, having a very hard time to try to figure it out but tomorrow I'll do an updated video or another day I'll do an updated video of the install of this empty um, external oil cooler kit or oil cooler upgrade kit whatever you guys want to call it I'll give you guys the part number for that and I'll also link the product in the description so if you guys want to buy it obviously on Amazon it's going to be cheaper so it's coming along nicely obviously takes time but we're gonna get her done so I gotta change out that little plate down there eliminate that that oil filter because it's gonna go there other than that it's looking good we gotta rewire all these cables because my welder accidentally ripped the cable that goes here for these wires but that's not a big deal we could rewire that we gotta install the tack and we're gonna wire all the lines inside and here in this tube and they're gonna come out out here i think right here somewhere around here right there let me show you guys how we did the other one as you can see the wires are coming out from the bottom so we're also going to run the wires for the oil temp and oil pressure and other than that we should be getting close to finishing it up i gotta fix this little leak so this one should be getting done within the next week hopefully right gotta give her a nice bath polish up them wheels polish up all the aluminum accessories make them pop and then we're gonna take it for a ride obviously do a couple jumps on it hopefully these tires don't rip like the track hawks or hopefully this car doesn't break it where <laughs> we don't break it or something but we'll keep you guys updated if you guys haven't already you already know peace subscribe hit the notification bell i'm out